Ivan, first things first, with top of the league, what's the mood like in the camp? Uh, there's uh, obviously a fantastic mood, you know, amongst the players. Uh, I think it's faulted through from you know the terraces that the fans are happy, and I think when you've you've got that pressure maybe lifted off you, and, and everybody's happy around uh, the stadium on a Saturday, it leads into the the weekend of Monday to Friday in training, and uh, certainly there's a there's a different mood that around the the training ground than there was last year. So hopefully, long may that continue. How does this buzz compare to the buzz that was around when Tony Mowbray was in charge? When obviously you were you were part of the squad then as well. It's a you know it's a it's a different transition. It's a it's a different uh, expectation. I think uh, you know obviously Tony had all a crop of players at that time that you know he brung through and you know he pushed them on and obviously they all got their big moves. Uh, this time round, you know, the club, I think people were waiting for us to fall flat, fall flat, and, you know, and the lads have turned it in week in, week out. Uh, there's certainly something special in the change room. Um, you know, a lot of that has to go down to, you know, the gaffer and the lads he's brung in, and, and not just the lads he's brung in, the lads that he's kept around, and, uh, you know, sometimes they say, you know, you just find a, a change room that, you know, it clicks and it goes right, and at the minute, you know, it's clicked and it's went right, and, uh, it's just not happening right on the pitch, it's happening right off it. Uh, and I think that's a big thing to do with where the club's going at the minute. How would you sum up the work ethic here at Hibsden right now? Because it does seem that irrespective of how well we play, we dig in, we get the results. Well, if you, know, if you knew the gaffer, you know, as we do, because you're working with him day in, day out, if you're not doing your graph for the gaffer, uh, you find yourself in a bit of baller. So, you know, first things first, you come in uh, and the first thing you've got to give them is a hard day's work. Uh, and if you some days you don't give them a hard day's work but you're giving them honesty, you know, you'll stick by you. Uh, but lose those two traits and I think you'll find yourself maybe, you know, to the side somewhere because uh, he doesn't accept anything but the best. And uh, I think that's faltered through to a lot of the boys that, you know, have been around a wee while. Uh, and the new ones that have come in have learned quickly and adapted to the way he, you know, the philosophies, the way he wants the club to go. Uh, you know, everybody's got their vision of where Hub should be and, and where Hub should go and, you know, how the club should be run. Uh, the gaffer, he's got his own vision. Uh, he's got his own way that he wants the team to be. He's got his way that he wants the players to be, how they conduct themselves. Uh, I'm sure he's got a vision of where he sees the club in a few years to come. Uh, so, you know, he's a, a major, major part, along with William O'Brien, uh, to the way things are happening. Obviously, you haven't played as much as you would have liked so far this season, but the manager's been very complimentary about the role that you've played and the role that Shevki Kucci's played as well, senior pros and, and setting the standard in training day in, day out. How difficult has it been, the fact that perhaps you haven't been on the pitch as much as you would have liked? So say you can't lie, you're, you're, you're a footballer and, and the thing you want to do and on a, on a Friday and Saturday is you want to hear your name first picked on a Friday and you want to be playing on a Saturday so you know at times you can go and bang your head against the wall but uh, I couldn't have went and asked the gaffer and knocked his door and said to him gaffer you know why am I not in the team because you know if, if I was sitting on the bench or sitting on the stand uh, I was watching lads like Paul Kearney and David Washburn turning it in week in week out so it's been very very difficult but at the same time uh, I suppose the one thing you get when you get that wee bit older you get a wee bit more patient uh, and I have realised that you know the team are sitting top of the league. Uh, but as I say, hopefully I'm pushing Paul and and David on. And if they know if they slip up or uh, you know don't quite perform, you know I'll be looking to get my place back. Uh, so that's all good for the club. But you know it's nice that the manager, you know, he, you know he still likes to have that experience about the club. And as I say, Chef gave myself that have not really featured as much. Uh, we have to keep our heads down and keep on going because you know when football can all turn pretty quickly.